Hello and welcome. Today I'm presenting you the new Windows look. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's completely redone. Uh, we have introduced the new UI and the uh, new UX. So let me present it. The first thing you will notice the pages on the top. Uh, we have the settings, we have the license. You type the license, save changes, it's activated. Then there is extension. Extensions uh, with the external link. You go to the D plugins website. There is a documentation. You press it. You go to the Windows website with the documentation. You can read it to get you started. Uh, if we go back to the settings, you can see that we split this in three tabs. The main focus now is on the CSS because the most of the time you're going to spend uh, in this area anyway. Then there is a configuration. From time to time, you are going to edit the configuration. And the last thing you will use is the general because under these settings, you will probably just uh, set everything right away and you will not come back too often. Uh, we introduced the, some of the new copy here. For example, if you go to the Gutenberg, before it was just enable Gutenberg blocks, but most of the people didn't understand what it means, so we rewrite some of the labels. For example, here uh, now it's quite clear that uh, under the Gutenberg inter integration, you have enable Tilewind preview for Gutenberg editor and detect apply classes for compiling the CSS. So the added classes to the elements can kind of be detected and also be compiled. Also, uh, if you if you were conf confused with the uh, production, some of the people didn't understand what to do uh, when they're ready for production. So we updated the, the title here. When you're ready for production, use the cached CSS. Uh, then you save it. Uh, also, we introduced the shortcut Control S. So now when you press it, it's going to save. Then what you can see also, it's a new look for the for the statuses, we style the table, so it's quite easy to now scan it and see it. Also the updated label here, view CSS file, so when you press it, you will uh, get the CSS row. Let me then uh, go back to the base, I can close this one. Uh, also, I want to point, this is not from this version, but many people didn't uh, know it, and that's once you update something here uh, so let's do this it's going to live reload right away even if the changes are not saved so what you can do is press save changes and everything is going to be saved also for the night owls we introduce the dark team as well so uh, it's going to be much easier for your eyes Give us support on YouTube by giving the like and also to subscribe to our channel. That means a lot. Uh, also join to our Facebook group if you didn't already. Uh, there you can uh, give us a detailed feedback. What do you think? Uh, also what new features you would like to have in the wind and in the next release. Thank you for watching and see you soon with the new one. Bye.